Hey everybody, uh, Scott Balls here again. Um, been having problems with my brake light staying on, and um, I figured out the problem was the brake switch. Let's see if I can show you. A little light here. The brake switch on the front front brake, as you can see, is all chewed up, and it's not making contact with the brake lever. So um, I tried, uh, you know, kind of like building it up. I tried like gluing on a couple of like pieces that would build it up just so it would make contact. It's just not working good. So I decided to get a new brake switch to, you know, alleviate the problem. And um, first thing you want to do is obviously you got to take off your your throttle. So you have to loosen up your uh, your throttle cable, and um, you know, take that and then take take your actual the grip off itself. Just get, get that little extra room, get a little slack here too. Um, Cause you need a little bit of slack here. And then there's this little, on mine, there was like this little, there was there was a, a wire tie that was holding everything together down in there. It was keeping it real nice and tight in there. So if you want to cut that, then as you can see right here, there's a little, just looks like a T25 or T27 probably screw right down there. And that will loosen up the bracket that's holding in your uh, brake switch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll be right back. Okay. So that um, that Torx screw was actually a T15. That was right. That was right here. That went right in there. And here's the so here's the little bracket up here. And it actually holds in your turn signal switch right here. Also, so it's all connected to one thing. So that this little part goes over. Your your uh, brake your brake switch right here, and this is the part that's actually the bracket that holds it down. And this is your you know brake lights or your uh, turn signal switch right here. So um, I have a new switch. As you can see, if you see the little nipple on the end of that switch, you can see where it's broken off there, and that's why I'm not getting contact. So uh, you know it's pretty straightforward. From here, all I gotta do is, you know, cut this wiring and solder in the new one. Um, so just make sure you obviously line the, like the, you know, line the, <laughs> put the right, let's see if it's the same color, yep. Orange with the, orange with a yellow, or white, orange and white, and then red and, red and yellow stripe. So, yep, pretty straightforward from there. So I'm gonna solder everything in. And then I'll show you once I get everything back together. I got the new one in so far, just like kind of dry fit in there. You're gonna need to take like a small screwdriver kind of like this, just to, you know, push that into that housing, like into that little hole. So like that, cause you really wanna make sure that's popping out so you can make good positive contact with your brake lever. Um, and there's also like a little shim. It's kind of hard to see back there. See it back there. I'm pretty sure that's where it went. I saw it fall out when I pulled the old one out. So I'm pretty sure that's what it's doing is keeping pressure uh, pushing forward onto the switch. So, um, you know, make sure you fucking you put that back in. Um, if anyone else <laughs> if that goes somewhere else, I can't think of anything else it would go to. So, um, but I left plenty of wiring here. So I'm now got a little bit of slack up here on these. Sorry, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. On, you know, so. These are the wires I'm gonna to use to solder in. Um, plenty of slack here. Um, obviously, obviously you have to cut some of this back, but just always leave yourself a little extra, um, you know, cause you, you know, when you go to solder and line everything up first and then go to solder. So that way you have plenty of room and not it's not too short and you're not, you know, yanking on it the whole entire time. So I'm gonna get this soldered up and then I'll be back. I got the new switch soldered in right here. I got a little bit of, little bit of extra length uh, on the wires than it was before. Um, just in case, you know, there's any problems or anything like that, I'll have a little bit of slack to, you know, make any adjustments I need to make. But um, it looks pretty good. Uh, I use heat shrink around the uh, soldering points. You can use, use electrical tape, but it's a little bit bulkier. I like the heat shrink because it kind of, I don't know, seems to be a little slimmer. It usually, usually does a better job than the, uh, than the electrical tape. Uh, so, but you know, um, I'll be able to kind of zip tie it down like it was before inside the casing. So, um, yeah, I have a little bit of extra, little bit of extra room there. So 
I'm gonna give it a test and see if it works. All right, everything's on. That seems to be working. That's pressed in, so that's when the lever is pressing it in. And release. So, everything seems to be good. It's actually pretty sensitive too, which is good. So, a little. I'll get everything buttoned up and uh, get another look. We'll see, make sure everything is good, make sure it's making positive contact. Right, got everything buttoned up. You can still see it's a little. There we go. There's a little bit of play in my uh, in my uh, brake lever too, so I think that might be. But it seems to be doing pretty good. There you go, boom. So it looks like it needs a little bit of adjustment. There's a little bit of, you can see a little twinkle there, which I'm not happy with. But I think that's just the uh, the brake lever. Yeah, the brake, well, I'm wiggling the brake lever here. See a little bit of play here. I think that's the problem. When I push it out. So, I'll figure that out, but I mean, the switch itself is, is working. And, um, you know, it's pretty straightforward, man. It took me about an hour to do it, so. You know, with me, with me videotaping and dicking around too, so not too bad. Um, hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment later.